Hi, it's Elise from Off the Wall Dogs and Potatoes, and today we're making a recipe um, from this recipe book. Uh, this is Rick Bayless. He specializes in, he's a chef, uh, and he specializes in Mexican food. And um, I've had this book for years, and it's really authentic Mexican food. Uh, he's really into it, and uh, it isn't a vegan book, but there are a lot of recipes in the book that can be adapted for a vegan diet very easily. So um, I um, wanted to make a, an eggplant recipe today uh, because I've gotten a lot of questions about what do you do with eggplant? And we love eggplant, um, and it is a very, very versatile vegetable. And so today we're going to make a recipe with um, with a, um, a a chili sauce and sliced uh, grilled eggplant. And I just want before we get started, I just wanted to show you um, what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing my um, my size six pants. Uh, these are these when I bought these last year uh, before I was fully uh, into the McDougal diet um, and I hadn't lost my weight yet I uh, these were snug and I, I asked specifically asked if they thought these would um, stretch out and I made sure I could return them if they didn't fit me right because they were really kind of tight. And I like to buy clothes that aren't, you know, this, you know, I, I just like, you know, looser clothing, slightly loose, not really tight fitting clothes. But I bought the pants anyway because they were returnable and I figured, well, if they don't work, I'll just take them back. So, um, so here's a year later and um, I lost all my weight. The size sixes are way, way too big. So I have to take them off because they're so big. But now I'm wearing a size, a between a size zero and one. And these pants were so big on me that I could fit them over my size one pants. And these are the size one. So I just can't get over it. The transformation that I've gone through such that these pants are that big that I can fit them over my current pair of pants. I just can't get over that. It's amazing. I've never been this thin. I have been on so many diets that didn't work or that left me thin for five minutes until I gained them back. So the McDougal diet is so effective and so easy. Once you get into it, once you get your mind around it, you can do it. You can do it. And all you need, maybe show, show them, all you need to do is eat lots of these items here. Vegetables, salad, potatoes, sweet potatoes, fruit, and get rid of everything else from your kitchen because out of sight, out of mind, you won't think about it anymore if you don't see it. I guarantee it. Take everything out of, out of your kitchen, clean out your cupboards of all the crappy food that, that um, is not even good for you and just eat this all the time. And you will lose the weight in no time. You can eat this as much as you want, unlimited amounts. Also, there's there should be rice here. There should be um, beans in your diet, rice, and all kinds of varieties of grains. And um, if you 
Eat all that until you're full and you will lose all your weight like I did. Lost 15 pounds. It's, it's been about a year. I think it's been about a year that I lost the 15 pounds. So, all right. Anyway, let's get started on the recipe. So today's recipe is called Spicy Pisilla Mushroom Tacos. And um, I'm slicing up, I, I'm almost done slicing up the eggplant. Let's get this eggplant sliced up here. And um, let me get this out of the way. Okay. So we're gonna, I, I pretty much, I mostly uh, took off most of the skin because the eggplant will be a little bit more tender without the skin. And just roughly chop the, um, the eggplant. It doesn't really matter. It's gonna soften up quite a bit. It's gonna have a, a wonderful sauce over it and it's gonna simmer in, in the oven. So it's, it should be fine. So for right now though, this is my air fryer. I just wanna show you the air fryer. It's a, a mainstay air fryer. I got it from um, Walmart. It's, uh, a, it was very cheap, $35. And I've been using it for a year and it works great. If you don't have an air fryer, you don't need one to make this recipe. You can uh, bake these eggplants or put it on your roasting, sub, uh, roasting um, roast them in the oven instead. Uh, put them in the oven like on a 400 degree oven and just roast them for 20, 30 minutes or so. But I'm putting these in the air fryer. It's so much easier. And that's it. So this is a whole eggplant that I sliced up. And, oh, you can also grill. You can grill this. Um, the actual recipe calls for grilling, which I don't do, sorry. Okay. Um, so I have it on 400 degrees for uh, 20 minutes. And while that's cooking, we're gonna do everything else. So, okay. So then I have these chilies. They're, uh, pis I think they're called Pasilla. I don't know how to pronounce it exactly. Pasilla or Pasilla uh, Ancho Chili Pods. They're dried and you get them at the, you can get them at the Mexican, this is, I got them at the Mexican grocery store, but these are pretty common. You can get them from any grocery store, really. And what I've done, what the recipe calls for is six dried chilies. So six of these and uh, they come with the seeds and the stems. You have to take the seeds out, and I've done all that already, the, the prep work already. So take the seeds and the stems off before you do anything else. And I would wear gloves. This, today I forgot to wear gloves, and I had a little bit of the chili stuff on my fingers, and don't touch your eyes or, or your mouth or anything when you've been handling chilies. It's better to wear gloves. Okay, so then you take the six chilies after they've been seeded and stemmed, and you soak them in hot water for 30 minutes. And these have been soaking for 30 minutes. And um, it, the recipe calls for reserving a third of a cup of the soaking liquid and draining off the rest of the water. So I'm gonna drain off the water. And then this is um, the first, these chilies go into a blender and this is the sauce. This will be our sauce. Those chilies. 
chilies, and it calls for eight cloves of garlic, roasted. So I've already roasted, pre-roasted the garlic. You can roast this in the oven. You can roast it in a um, dry, greaseless, uh, heavy pan on the stove. I've done it that way. But the easiest way is in my air fryer. So I've done that. I just roasted it whole. I didn't um, cut it up or anything. So now we're gonna cut it up and um, we're gonna put eight cloves of garlic in with those chilies. So, and this is all for the sauce preparation. So eight cloves of garlic and that was two. Three. These are really, I, uh, I roasted them for, um, for uh, 15 minutes on the 400 temperature. And they really, they really came out nice. I didn't want to get any papers in there. They really came out really nice and roasted up. They're so soft, it's like spreading it. That was five. Six. Seven. Eight. Okay, so eight cloves of roasted garlic. And then it calls for Mexican oregano, which is this one teaspoon. Now I have a full, fully ground oregano. It probably doesn't have to be ground oregano, but that's all I had on hand. And then it calls for an eighth of a teaspoon of cumin. And this is a half a teaspoon. I don't have an eighth teaspoon. I couldn't find my eighth teaspoon. So I'm just estimating an eighth of a teaspoon of cumin, ground cumin seeds. And, uh, Okay, and then, um, so that's that recipe, and a little bit of the soaking liquid to get this, I might need more than this, probably. So then we're going to grind these in the blender to make a sauce. Let's see, I'm gonna get a, a cup of water. Sorry. Okay, so is it probably gonna be hard to grind. So, so here we go. It smells really good. It's a, it's the recipe book calls it a seasoning paste, 
And this is a traditional way that Mexican cuisine is made with these um, dried chili pastes. And he's got them throughout his whole, um, his whole book, different types of dried chilies turned into a seasoning paste or it's, it's really like a hot sauce and it's, um, it's delicious. And um, these different sauces are made in various ways and put over vegetables and meats, you know, because this book isn't vegan, but um, they use, you know, and it's, it's, um, it's really uh, delicious. A delicious way of eating that is, um, has very sophisticated flavors. So let's blend it up a little bit more and then we'll get it. pretty good. So now what we're going to do is, and I should, maybe I should run through the recipe again to make sure you, you get all the ingredients together. So if you want to make this, you need uh, an eighth of a teaspoon of cumin, a teaspoon of Mexican or regular oregano, whatever oregano you have on hand, dried oregano, and we had eight cloves of roasted garlic, six dried chilies that have been seeded, stemmed, and um, soaked for 30 minutes. We have a whole eggplant and uh, four cups of mushrooms. This recipe calls for four cups of sliced mushrooms of any kind, any kind that you like and um, some episodi, which are these leaves that um, I got from the Mexican grocery store. And they kind of have a uh, oregano kind of smell to them. I've never used these before, so we're gonna try them out. So, all right, so now what we're gonna do, so then you have your paste and we're going to um, drop it into a strainer and, and then into a, um, with a bowl underneath because the skin of the chilies don't always get fully ground up and we want a very smooth sauce for this recipe so we're going to strain out all the all the skin. Now this this came out pretty pretty uh, smooth. This look, some of the some of the chilies that I've used uh, don't grind up quite as well as these seem to. Th these seemed like they were much softer, creamier chilies than others that I've used in his recipe book. And just well, this is pretty creamy and smooth. I'm not, I'm not getting any 
nothing is really um, I don't see any skin from the from the chilies so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna worry about it actually it says to strain out the the skins from the chilies but actually this is very smooth I think we'll just leave it go because it's pretty good so okay so um, so then you take your mushrooms that's four cups of mushrooms and it was uh, basically one whole container of um, mushrooms um, this is a 16 ounce hmm, uh, 16 ounce container of mushrooms is about four four cups and the this these Pasilla chilies are um, a very low on the uh, the hotness scale it's a it's a lower it's a lower chili it's not one of the hotter ones so and then we have a, um, a Dutch oven and we're going to simmer the the mushrooms for a few minutes and the recipe calls for oil to to do all the frying and the um, to do all the frying of the onion uh, the mushrooms and spreading oil over the eggplant but we're adapting this recipe for it for fat free so we're not going to do all that we're not using oils to simmer our mushrooms we're just going to simmer them i'm going to put a little bit of this i'm going to put the re the third of a cup of soaking liquid into the mushrooms and add water as needed i'm going to add a little bit more to simmer these you want it very hot i'm going to add some of the sauce to the rest to the uh, mushrooms also to add flavor So we're going to let this simmer for a few minutes on the stove, and then we're going to bake it. I'm going to bake it for 350. Okay, while that's simmering, I'm going to show you. I made some black beans earlier. So we're going to have that with with our eggplant dish and I used my in instant pot to make the beans. Uh, it took, it took uh, 40 minutes to make the beans and I, I used one of uh, Jeff Bayless's recipes to make the beans. Um, I put a whole roasted uh, onion in and um, a sprig of episodi and he says that it really gives the black beans great flavor so it was it was uh, three cups of water and a pound of black beans and I threw in this roasted onion and the uh, large sprig of episodi. So, so we're going to eat that, and we're going to have some corn with our eggplant. So, I just wanted to try. I'm going to try the um, the beans. Mm. Really good good flavor. I'm not sure that I really taste the episodi in there. 
but the beans taste good. So now here we are. Our mushrooms are shrinking down. And you can add a little salt to this if you want. I think I'm going to add a little sprinkle of salt. I don't... This is my spice drawer and it's a mess. Where's my salt? can't find the salt, so. Not sure where my salt is, so I think we'll leave it out. Probably better that we do leave it out. Anyway, so the mushrooms are shrinking down and they're simmering pretty good. I'm gonna add, and here's the dogs. Um, we're watching these dogs. It's Javi and Gracie. So. so, okay. So I'm adding the sauce now that the mushrooms have pretty well cooked, pretty cooked. And I'm going to simmer the sauce a little bit. The instructions say to simmer it. That was hot. Okay. Now this got stuck on the back of the strainer. I'm going to lower the heat because that's bubbling up pretty good. So I would say skip that step if you're going to make this recipe. Don't, don't use a strainer to strain off your um, chilies. It's not necessary because this is really smooth. So, so that makes it a little, little bit easier. Get this off here. I hate to waste any of it. Okay, so now we have our mushrooms and our sauce simmering. And tastes good. And then we have some frozen corn that I'm going to warm up as well. Organic frozen corn. And I'm just going to cook the uh, eggplant a little bit longer. Let me wash my hands here. Okay. I'm gonna, here's the eggplant here. It doesn't really need to be really cooked because we're going to be putting it in the oven. So I just I just roasted some um, some uh, red peppers earlier today in the air fryer, and they come out so great and they're so sweet too. And you can just eat them just like this. They're delicious. And they, when they've been roasted, they come out so sweet. Really good. So we're going to have <coughs> eggplant, corn, and salad for dinner. salad you want. This is just a simple um, salad of spring uh, spring baby spring greens with spinach 
and I put some red leaf lettuce in there, torn up, and some cherry tomatoes and some cucumbers. And that's, that's basically it. And I, uh, I use pineapple as a, a dressing, or I squeeze an orange on it, or sprinkle some raisins in it. I don't really like dressings all that much, so I, I don't really use them. I just use fruit in my salads. And I, I look, I love fruit, so I look forward to eating my salads when I have fruit in them. I don't love salad, but I've gotten very used to it. When I have the fruit in it, I, I have something to look forward to in the salad. And the actual, the combination of salad greens and fruit is delicious together. So I would recommend trying that. Um, if you need a fat-free dressing, uh, what I have done very easily is in um, a small blender, I uh, take um, some, some oranges and squeeze them along with three or four dates and some, um, some like seasoning, uh, salt-free seasoning of your choice and put it in there with a little, little bit of, a couple of drops of hot sauce and blend that up and put it on my salad dressing. And I found that that's really delicious too. You could also make like a mustard soy sauce kind of dressing if you want it salty. There's all different things you can do with the salad dressing, but keep it simple. And you'll find that simple is really the best. So, okay, so let's see how the eggplant is doing. Uh, and it's all nice and slightly, slightly brown. Yeah, actually, it's pretty, pretty cooked, pretty, pretty good. So we're going to um, put our eggplant in the sauce. Whoops. Actually, it's it's pretty done. These these eggplants are can be eaten right now. They're very soft. This one's falling apart. So you can you can put it in the oven, but um, I would say put it in the oven for about just about ten minutes just to absorb, just for the eggplant to absorb all the seasonings in the sauce. And then it's, it's pretty well done. And this, this recipe is called a, a pisillo, or pisillo um, mushroom taco. And um, they use corn tortillas. So here's, here's the way the, the concoction looks. And I have the oven at 350. And I'm gonna put a, put a lid on it. And put it in the oven for 10 minutes. So I didn't add any salt to anything, but you can taste for yourself and see if it needs salt. And we're gonna wait 10 minutes and then we're gonna try it. So we'll come back in 10 minutes for part two.